in Bridges, we learn from each other. We are a community of practice. The annual conference is one of the ways that a hot process supports us. This year, we look forward to the presentation by the Oklahoma team, and we hope to see many of you in Indianapolis. Now, we can make a difference with this program. Uh, we can make a difference in people's lives, in their self-esteem, and getting people back to work and productive. They're so taken up with just surviving day to day that they don't even have time to formulate a vision. It isn't about telling them what to do, but it's about helping them learn to explore answers and make healthy decisions themselves. The program for me has been uh, just a huge turnaround, a huge turnaround in my life. Uh, I'm very glad to be in it, and some of our everybody that's in this program, I don't know, I don't know anybody that's been in the program and quit. And that's what is so nice about the Bridges Out of Poverty approach and the Circles approach is because it really focuses on real barriers and real solutions rather than band-aids on symptoms. Bridges isn't a program. It's a set of constructs, a language, strategies, and tools that have to be applied locally. Occasionally in a career and in life, things come along that pretty fundamentally change your way you look at something that you've been working with or looking at for a long time. It's a real paradigm shift. And Bridges Out of Poverty is, is one of those things that came along that really changed pretty fundamentally how I look at working with people. When the glasses through which I was viewing everything in my world were from this point of view that the reason why people were in poverty was because they made bad choices or they didn't want to get out bad enough. When the reality is, while that may be true for some, it is clearly not true for all. There are any number who would really like to get out and simply can't. You know, it's very uplifting to know that when you're down like that, there's somebody that cares. There's somebody that cares and there's somebody that's not in poverty, willing to reach back and pick somebody up out of poverty. And not so much monetarily, but to Walking just- Walking side by side. Side by side and to help you get to where you need to get or want to get. One of the real strengths of the Bridges Out of Poverty and the Getting Ahead programs is that it empowers individuals in poverty to begin making healthy decisions for themselves. Those of us at a hot process at Bridges are excited about what's happening in Oklahoma. Of all the communities and states using Bridges, Oklahoma is the first state to organize an initiative at the state level from the startup. One of the things that Bridges Out of Poverty invites is a conversation between classes. And, and my assumption is that when that conversation between classes happens, then the lines between those two classes start to blur. What's been so, great is through this program too, it's given not only just Billy, but other people an avenue to be able to start advocating for themselves yeah. and to have a voice. And for the first time ever, there's this hope that something can change, that we can make a difference. We can identify yeah. these problems and by working together, we really can do that. And that's what's been so exciting about this program is everybody has a voice. The Bridges Out of Poverty in Circles initiative is the one thing that cities could look at that says this is going to make sense to every single element within the city. It's the thing that, that draws us together and provides that common cause and also provides the methodology, the strategies that have been tested over and over that say if you'll do the following things, these things really do work. In Stillwater, this conversation was started in January of 2008 when a group of pastors met deliberately together to discuss the dilemma of people who have needs that are going from church to church and agency to agency, and there was plenty of handout going on, but there wasn't necessarily a life change. They weren't seeing the effect of what could we be doing to actually make a difference in their life instead of just giving them things or meeting their needs for a moment. What can we do to proverbially give them the hand up 
as well as the hand out. One of my responsibilities, I work for the Division of Family Support, which is the, the, the division that uh, administers all the benefits that you hear about all the time, like food stamps, for example. And the challenge was to provide the benefits that we're asked to provide, which is a very kind of mechanical, cold process of, you know, how much do you make, how, how um, uh, do you work or not, all those kind of sort of cut and dried questions, and then figuring that out like, a, like an accountant would. We have now um, uh, given all our staff copies of the Bridges Out of Poverty book, um, and we continue to train new employees on Bridges Out of Poverty. Um, our pastor at the time, uh, the Reverend Lee Stevens, who's been involved in Bridges Out of Poverty ever since the first time we went to a, a meeting, and he said, this is it, this is it. We saw that the things that they were teaching were things that we had intuitively done, and how effective that was, but more we saw that Bridges had figured out things that we hadn't. It's like, why reinvent the wheel? These folks have the entire package. And uh, not just with bridges, but with bridges and circles and getting ahead. Those three things were a package that, because we had sort of fallen into it, you know, just stumbled into it, helping the families that we helped, we saw that, yes, this, this will work. A three-fold cord cannot be easily broken. So when we have bridges and getting ahead and circles intertwined with one another and supporting each other and undergirding and forming the foundation, uh, it's, it's a sure road to success because where one leads off, the other one steps in. And circles then encourages the, the allies, the mentoring and the uh, assessments and the keeping track. And every one of them builds on the other to, to form that threefold cord. If we, with our little bit of information, were able to make such a difference in our little church, if we just had those tools, how much more? Across the spectrum, whether it's government or education or you know the faith community, or families, or arts and entertainment, or media, or commerce and business. It seems like everybody wants to be part of this. We can make a difference in people's lives. And that's why I'm involved in this. And why I believe very strongly that the more people we get involved, the greater chance we have for success. I've been excited about a number of things in my career. Uh, I've never been this excited about uh, any of those things. And it's because it, it has the potential to reach so many people and it just makes sense to everyone that gets exposed to the concepts.